ever had the fear of getting into your car and there's somebody in your back seat, somebody there already. This is a huge fear of mine. I think about it almost every time I get in my car at night. I always have to like peek over my shoulder and make sure there's nobody there. Today we're gonna talk about something called a loop hold. And this loop hold would help you make somebody pass out that was in your car in like a small space. So here we go. Another great video coming at you today from Green Martial Arts with some more self-defense to help you stop a murder. If you like the content we're putting out, please like and subscribe. I appreciate you. I love you. This has been so fun to do and such a great experience. I appreciate it. Here we go. You're trapped in your car with the creepiest creeper of your life, and what do you do? Here's our story for today. Last year in 2020 in Florida, alleged serial rapist Cono Brown was arrested for a possible murder. First off, let's talk about this serial rapist thing. I am of the opinion that rape is pretty darn close to murder. And the reason that I think that is because if you start to get into this whole killer, murder, true crime world, like I have kind of immersed myself in, you start to see a really big trend. And rape tends to lead to a lot of bad things. If you're a rapist, you tend to not have a great future ahead of you. Now, I know that people can change, but... In my eyes, rape is pretty extreme. Well, Connell Brown in Florida, a serial rapist, which, awful, 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 is now being accused of murder, and here's why. 49-year-old Kathleen Black went missing. Where'd they find her body? Stuffed in a trunk of a car after she had been severely beaten and stuffed in there from a car battered and beaten. They suspect who did it? Cono Brown. They suspect Cono Brown did it. And you know, if he's a serial rapist, I'm assuming that some other things led to this death. Could she have stopped it? We don't know. Again, we're not shaming her in any way, victim shaming. But here's a technique that potentially could be used if you are stuck. Clothing self-defenses. So let's say we're on the ground. Okay. Um, your legs are around my hips here. We're in the guard position, right? Okay. This is like mm -hmm. okay. I love chokes because no tough people can handle choke. It doesn't matter how tough you are, right? No blood goes to your brain, you go to sleep. That's just how it works. Um, so what she's gonna do, she's gonna use the guard to help her anyway. So she's gonna cross her feet behind her back. Okay, this is already unpleasant, right? For the person, because not everything's working the way I'm planning anymore, right? That we, we wanted certain things to happen and it didn't, okay? So the next thing that's gonna happen is she'll have to take, come up high, right? Okay. Sit up and she's gonna pull me down a little bit, right? Okay, like this? Yes, and she's kind of avoiding damage is the, is the goal right now, right? Just keeping my arms from being able to really wind up and get punches, all right? <laughs> I know, it's scary, but that's why we're learning it. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do, right? And she's going to curl the back of my shirt up. Like this? Yes, all the way up. All of it? All the way up. Get, get a good chunk of my shirt. Okay. Awesome. Once it gets high enough, right, you're going to reach your hand in and you're going to grab a big chunk of shirt on the inside with this hand, okay? So you're going to go here, pull, grip. This way? Yeah, create a grip okay. and go thumb, thumb up. So thumb this way. Flip your grip. Flip, like literally switch oh, that. Oh, there oh. you go. Cool. Okay. There we go. Awesome. She comes up, do the same thing, locking. same grip. Yep, go under, pull that shirt up. Okay. Oh. Uh-huh. So she's got that first grip, okay? Mm -hmm. Is to reach behind my head now, put this thumb in, and grab with your thumb in the same hole. Uh-huh. Take your arm, bring it around my head, and squeeze. Go ahead. I'm, <laughs> okay. Oh. oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. 
it's really effective. Um, it, I, don't, I don't know how to ex explain it better than there's no blood going to my brain and I'm going to go to sleep. The thicker the shirt, the better. The thicker the coat, thicker the coat, the better. So I'm going to say yes, you do. Okay, because here's the problem. If you grab just the collar, right, which is the, te the technical technique, right? If she just grabbed the collar, what happens is this stretches and it tears. Choke's gone. But when you grab the whole shirt, not so much, right? Then I'm in some trouble, okay? So one more time, she's here, she's got her guard. That's gonna keep me from escaping. She kind of pulls the shirt up into a ball. And I'm doing she's gonna put the thumb right? in right there. Boom, bring it around the head. Squeeze, keep going. Sleepy time. <laughs> you can tell the blood is not in my head because my face is turning red. Um, I, 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 I am very, it's very evident when I'm getting choked, right? Yeah, it's like, Eyes are turning red, everything's bloodshot. Doesn't take very long to make this work. And they might be swinging and trying to hit you. It doesn't really matter because in eight seconds, they're out. Crazy. Right? You got about eight to 10 seconds of a good hold once it's in. And it's sleepy time. She's going around. We'll imagine this is like, you're at the club, jacket kind of thing, right? I'm wearing a jacket or maybe it's a t-shirt, right? It could be a t-shirt too. You can practice it the same way if I just close it up. So again, all the same drills, all works the same. So she hooks her legs around the back, right? Practice the same technique. So she's coming in, she gets a good grip. She draws a big circle. Oh, there it is. Now, what you'll notice is, is that when I do this, you know, try it real quick. So let's have you wear this one, okay? What you'll notice when I do this, and we don't even have to be doing it sitting down, right? You can do this in a completely standing oh, position, okay? okay. So. What you'll notice is, Coming I'm gonna keep your hair creepy out. Hug. Creepy hug, there it is, right? I draw the circle around and squeeze. That's how fast that happened. It didn't take me very long. I saw this grip, I, I got a grip on the inside. I went around the head, I make a loop, which is by the way what it's called, a loop choke, right? I make a loop and I squeeze. That's very, it's cool, right? <laughs> yeah, it looks like, it looks like something like, oh man, that guy's just letting her have it. but. I'll tell you right now, that's a tight choke. <laughs> yeah. Any on anybody in, right? I'm gonna move her hair out of the way so I can you can see it better, right? So I'm here. I'm on the inside. This is the loop choke. I put my thumb in. It looks like I'm holding a rope, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna circle the head again. I've got her between my legs right now, and I squeeze. <laughs> crazy. It's really fast. Yeah. It really does feel like you're gonna pass out in about eight seconds. As always, a huge shout out to Green Martial Arts. If you want to purchase one of their shirts, please let me know. If you have further questions, please let me know. Zach will be here helping us answer questions in the comment section. I'll be here to try to help answer questions. It's not my expertise, it's definitely Zach's, and we appreciate him so much. Thank you so much for watching. If this helped you out, please subscribe, comment below, like, all of the above. Thank you so much for continued support, and I hope that you have a great day. Bye.